morning. Welcome to Stories with Pastor Macy. It has been a while since we have done one of these. Uh, this morning, we have had a visitor on our porch. We have had a fat little squirrel, and we made the mistake of putting some nuts out for him. So he's not going away. My husband is looking at me. I put some nuts out for him because he was just so cute. So there's still, you can see some almonds out there. We'll see if he comes back. Uh, he has been trying to get in the door, so I threw a handful at him and closed the door real quick because he is a very bold squirrel. So I think he might be uh, burying some of the almonds we gave him, but we'll see if he comes back. In the meantime, we are going to read a story about a squirrel. Lazy Sid Squirrel from the book My Bedtime Anytime Storybook, which is a fun one that we like. And this is a story about being lazy. Brew and his friends had many interesting neighbors. In the forest where they lived, there were several squirrel families. Each fall, the squirrels worked very hard to store up acorns for the winter. When the snow fell on the forest, finding acorns was not easy. That's why an older and wiser squirrel was surprised each day in that fall to see Sid Squirrel playing. All the other squirrels were working from sun up to sundown, gathering acorns and putting them away for the winter. Do you have all your acorns for the winter? The older, wiser squirrel asked Sid one day. Haven't started yet, Sid said. Lots of time. All my friends work, work, work. I figure a fellow needs a little time to play. All day, every day? The older, wiser squirrel asked. Need a little fun in life, said Sid. Then he closed his eyes and took a nap. One morning, big snowflakes began to fall in the forest. Sid looked outside. He looked at the calendar. The snow was early. He still had not started to gather acorns for winter. Sid ran outside and began to gather acorns as fast as he could, but the snowflakes were falling faster now. Before long, the ground was white. Sid couldn't find the acorns without digging in the snow. When Sid got home that night, I lost my place. There we go. He was cold and sad. He had only one tiny bag of acorns instead of the big one he should have had. It's an early snow, said Sid. Tomorrow will be a nice warm day. But the next day was very cold. Sid went outside, but a gust of north wind almost blew him over. He could stay outside only a few minutes. Each day was either cold or snowy. Sid looked at the calendar. Winter isn't supposed to be here yet, he kept saying, but it was. Winter didn't go away either. Sid looked at the few sacks of acorns in the corner. What would he do? There was not enough to last him all winter. He would get very hungry before spring. Sid began to worry that he might even starve. One cold day, Sid heard a knock at his door. When he opened it, he saw all the other squirrels in that part of the forest. Each one had a little sack of acorns. You were very foolish, the oldest and wisest squirrel said. You should have gathered acorns instead of playing. I'm sure you realize by now. I, I was very foolish, said Sid. I do realize that now. Well, said the oldest and wisest squirrel, we can't let you go hungry this winter, so we each have a little bag of acorns for you. Tears came to Sid's eyes. What kind neighbors? There he is. There is the little friend eating the, the nuts we threw out there. I'm so glad he came back so you could see him. Sid the squirrel. Oh, he's gone. Let's keep going with our story. Maybe he'll come back again. Tears came into Sid's eyes. What kind neighbors? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sid said again and again. What wonderful neighbors you are. So each squirrel in that part of the forest gave Sid a little bag of nuts. But lots of bags are just as much as a few big bags. By the time the last squirrel had given Sid a bag of acorns, 
Sid had all that he needed to last the winter. Ever after that, Sid was the hardest working squirrel in the forest, gathering acorns for the winter. And each fall, he gathered extra bags of acorns for any squirrel who was too old or too sick to gather as much as they needed. So there's a last picture of the wise old squirrel delivering acorns to Sid. And I'm glad you got to see our little squirrel friend outside. We took some videos earlier. I'll post those in the comments. Uh, thank you for joining me this morning on Stories with Pastor Macy and seeing our Sid the Squirrel, lazy squirrel friend who is eating nuts that we gave him instead of finding them himself. I hope you have a wonderful, not lazy day. Bye-bye.